Hey there, people. Too tall back again. So just a little bit ago, I was working on this piston, and I went to pause you guys and accidentally pressed the wrong button and uh, stopped the video. So probably because I'm uh, technologically challenged and have a hard time, I haven't had good luck trying to edit and put two movies together and make one. This is probably going to end up as a, a two-part, well, probably more than two parts, because I don't think we'll get all of the cylinder done here in one setting. But uh, anyway, um, so in what's probably going to be the previous video, I just started this piston. So I finished up the inside there, got rid of all those casting ridges and everything. And then I didn't need to do a lot of work to it, to the skirts there. I just rounded and polished, chamfered all of that real good. So, and then we didn't really shave much weight. 64 grams is what it's weighing now. We started at 66, so we lost 2 grams. Um not really my goal to in this particular case to uh you know intentionally shave a ton of weight off that piston so but i, I do like to track the numbers um so we got uh 64 grams all right set this to the side I can't seem to keep my nose from running for like the last month. I don't know what it is. I got allergies or something. So I apologize for the sniffles. All right, so I got change out from my sanding drum here. Where I usually like to start on the cylinders is uh, with the upper, or sorry, the lower transfers. So here we go. I will do a little bit, show you, and then pause you, and hopefully not stop the video this time. Um, So just barely getting started here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you guys. I'll get one side done and then show you. You can see the comparison from the uh, one side to the other. So I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, so I got this one side done. Well, not done done, but roughed in. Still got to go back with a little little diamond uh, 
stone and you know catch all the edges and everything but there you can see So I dropped this quite a little bit. So, you know, let's see. so this is the, the unaltered side here. So this distance, that's the window that it has. To, you know flow air fuel so on this side I I dropped that let's see if I got something here so if we drop this across here you can see if I can show it See on the stock side how that's just basically flush with the base. It's about a sixteenth below. And then you can see on the side that I've just ground. Well. I hope you can see that. See now. I've got about a quarter inch. <coughs> yeah, darn near. I dropped it darn near a quarter inch. And then I dropped that bridge quite a bit. And thinned it out quite a bit. Ground in to both sides, you know, widening it, widening it this, this way. And uh, didn't really go into this side too much, a little bit. Got down, dropped all the way down inside with a ball, with the ball burr. And then with that same ball burr, which is on the grinder right now, I believe. Using that little guy there. got down into the uppers and just just shaped them a little bit pointing towards the intake and I still got to get down in there with a you know with a fine diamond ball stone and uh, smooth all, all that out and deburr it so anyway I think that's probably about as far as I'm gonna go on that so now I just gotta do the same on this side and then uh, widen the exhaust port and texture that intake so but I'm starting to develop a bit of a migraine headache here so I think I'm gonna call this a wrap for now and uh, next time we pop in I'll probably have all that done and get to show you what it looks like so you all take care now wherever or whenever you might be bye